Imagine living here. That's so cool. It's a pretty special place to live, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. there actually is some gorgeous stones. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode from Glenamado. If you don't know us, thanks so much for tuning in. We are from Ireland and Germany, and we're currently on a working holiday visa here for 10 months, traveling around this beautiful country of New Zealand and broadcasting it to you guys wherever you are, on your living room or wherever you are watching. So we're currently just outside Invercargill. We're in a little town called Riverton. It's a beautiful little town, about 1,700 people total that lives here in this in this little beauty of a gem. So literally, the place behind us is it's a waterfront, and it literally yeah. it looks like it looks like Ireland. It does. It yeah. looks like Ireland. So Riverton is really like small. It's only 30 minute drive. You can't miss it. No. It's kind of like the spot where you should go. It's like a holiday yeah. place. Kind of it's where people place. take vacation and stuff just to relax and wind down. So people have holiday houses here. Guys, I think we're just exploring this little town today. That's the objective. First of all, buying kind of coffee fix and checking out some little cute coffee shops. Yeah. And then also we're going to the famous Uripuki Gemstone Beach. Oh, Apparently yeah. you can find some beautiful Fresh gemstones. Nice gems. Hopefully you can find some. <laughs> That's the objective. We hope you stay tuned for this episode. So yeah, this is the this is the back of the little town. We're just at the waterfront, as you've seen, and we have some flags here. We have the German, the Irish, the Canadian. Pretty good. There you go. The German, the German strikes back. So we're just gonna walk through the town, explore, and give you a first impression of this little gem of a place. Yeah, I think that's the waterfront. We have to get somehow around, Glenn. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Sneaking around the back way through the back of the houses. I just want to see the flags. Okay, okay, fair enough. Probably not a lot to see, but we still want to give you the respect of, of walking around town here and so, give you our little walking tour. So we're currently at the really south of the South Island, and what I've noticed because we came back, this is the third time we here back in Invercargill. Well, now the first time in Riverton always like gray and colder gray clouds yeah 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 welcome and then you just kind of drive one or two hours into the central area of New Zealand and central yeah, Tago for Chicago. example and it's it's very hot and dry it's mad how the weather changes so much here in New Zealand it's impressive I like it you know the way it's so diversified I love the architecture of the banks in New Zealand I've noticed in every little town you go to there's always a the National Bank of New Zealand. This is a especially that is very town. beautiful and it's very nicely maintained. Okay, Glenn, let's walk we, down here. Okie dokie. So oh, the crafts and gift shops. We have some graffiti over here. We have earthware. So I think that's so that's an op store. I think, Mado. It looks like an op store. I think it is. Yeah. I like, honestly like these little towns that are still like local. Local orientated communities, everybody knows each other, talks to each other. It's special, it is special. There's another piano to play. Oh, there's a piano outside, you can play. Nice. I love it. Oh. Any, any hair quickly? Yeah. Even hair boutique. Hair boutique. Hey. When's the last time you got a haircut in New Zealand? I never got a haircut here in New Zealand. Have you not, no? Well, there is a little cafe over there selling That's burgers. That's where a friend works. Ah, a friend Rose. She works in this cafe, do you believe it or not? <laughs> she might see us actually, she's probably at the counter. So, we have some accommodation. No vacancy, madam. No vacancy. There's never vacancy anywhere you go in New Zealand. I always say to Glenn, there's no vacancy. <laughs> anywhere you drive, there's always no vacancy. So I think, you know, tourism is very big here in New Zealand. We have another... We have the ambulance station. I've noticed in the little towns as well with the, for the fire stations and the, you know, like the ambulance service. It's always kind of volunteer most of the time in the yeah. little villages and it's amazing you know the way the community come together and help each other out and volunteer to maintain the thriving little town so it's cool yeah. so the towns don't fall apart and they keep going in the right direction so nicely said Glenn oh, it's... there's a library oh wow in a little town like this oh wow that's crazy so if you want to go to a library guys best facility when you're on the road to charge your electronics and obviously working a laptop or so. Mado, there's a second hand bookshop. So look, 
If there's nobody around, as you can see, it's a Monday. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's, Three days a week. That's some opening hours. I think the window's smashed, that's why. They're all trying to keep this, uh, keep this town working and going, so. We have riveting, plumbing and draining. I think the shops might be closed on a Monday. There's a sheepdog. Hello. It's beautiful. A few caravans. Why not? Hamburgers and frozen products, Meadow. As so. you can see, it's a very busy city. <laughs> not. Yeah, we're just giving you a quick walk through, guys, and then we're heading on, moving on to the next location, which we mentioned is the Gemstone Beach. I but wanna, we're actually going back down to the waterfront. I want to find some gems later on. You do. We will head back down to probably butchers. Guys, we have a coffee shop here, the cafe. So this is Maddo's um, researched coffee shop. So what? we're gonna check it out. 102 cafe. So 102 cafe homemade, open. Handmade homemade pies in here. So we're gonna go in and get a coffee. Yeah. Get the, the caffeine in. How are you? Are you good? Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, uh, can I get a long black, please? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What do you want? Can I have a turmeric glass? Yeah. Guys, that's a really good place. Usually we get a takeaway, but we decided to sit in. That's a um, first. We never sit down. No, we never sit down. So, if, guys, if you in Riverton, make sure to check out it 002 is. or 100. It can be coffee. quiet at times, the lady said. Because it is a quiet town, so it depends on the day. But, like, this was amazing. How was your coffee, Glenn? Good. Yeah, hit me. I'm concentrating my head now. Mm. I, I haven't eaten breakfast, so it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't had breakfast. We have that in a minute. I had turmeric latte, which was amazing. So, and they have like a whole uh, chai selection because I think she's from India. From, it's from yeah. India, yeah. Should have from tried the chai. That is a kill cool pop-up caravan. But here's a hamburger place. They sell frozen goods. And that's pretty quiet inside as well. I think that's an abandoned store with some old goods. So the lady recommended a place down the road. She recommended a place down oh, the road. Yeah, like a viewpoint. You have to drive till the end of the viewpoint. We should go there. Okay. Only cars are currently present here at the moment. An old gas station, I think. Yeah. Abandoned old gas station. Yeah, I think. Like book oh, so we have the book exchange. You have piano. So that's cool. Love it. And some old uh, <laughs> army figures in there. <laughs> there you go, Mado. You happy? Yeah. yeah. There's a book exchange in every town you go to. You wanna play the piano? You wanna play the piano? I love, I love a piano in a town. It's cool. The Mason, the Mason Lodges, I think. Mansion, you mean? You know, it's like, actually, we so we learned from Invercargill, the lodges are usually for all the people with the apprenticeships, the trades, the skills, and like a group of people that kind of just share ideas and get together. You know, like a plumber or an elect electrician. They all get together, yeah. People with skills. Oh, look, so cool. there's always a small lodge, uh, one of these lodges in town, usually. I'm a surprise. I'm just I'm spotting a super, super value. Riverton and supermarket. And the New Zealand Post. Ah, uh, yeah. Everything's combined together, especially in the smaller towns. The post office is always in the supermarket. Oh, they have a museum. Oh, they do have a museum. It's a cute looking museum, actually. Look at all the murals outside. It's gorgeous. Love to paint outside as well. It's very nice. So we're not gonna check. We're not checking the museum yet. We just thought we'd tell you guys about it but we have a lovely we have the lovely seafront church here st mary's angelican church <laughs> i can say it i mean if i can pronounce it then you can pronounce it but i have dyslexia i just can't pronounce specific words i'm sorry but that's usually the, the circumstances here this so, butcher shop clean we do i like the way all the houses are on the hills we do have a nice view so we're actually staying in an Irish friend of ours. We're living up on the hill here. She's Irish, yeah. So it's been a great experience just to enjoy the seafront. I wonder how much action they get with the, the fire station. Yeah, good question. I wonder if they're busy. Let's go to the, the butch Riverton butcher shop. Yeah, sure. It's over here somewhere. Well, it's gonna be crazy. She is, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the retail shop. Open to the public. The butcher shop. The local butcher shop where you get the local meats, the good stuff. Probably big portions, no? Curling bacon, home kill processing. Jesus, this is this is next level stuff. This is what the butcher does. So, welcome to the butcher, guys. That's the door, Mario. Go inside, check out their products, buy some meat for dinner later, and then bring it up to the fridge in the house. Ew. 
Yes, Madler. You like this one of me? You have a good selection of goods here. It's actually a pretty good price. The price is really good. Look at that. We have... Oh, it's 14 dollars a kilo. It's a good price. Pretty good price, Madam. Do you call it Weiner? Weiner. That's so. Weiner. Weiner. And also it's not... There's lots of Weiners there. <laughs> That looks like calf. A, a Wiener schnitzel is a calf. We got some schnitzel. It's not even a schnitzel. Right, it's not a schnitzel. It's beef though. It's yeah. A real schnitzel is not beef. But it's looking really good. Uh, it is lean. Yeah, you can have that. I cooked that for you for dinner. Can't. Yeah, no bad though. Just, I just want to lean some lean meat to stay healthy. Matter what bird is that? It looks really good. That's a seagull, is it? I, no. You see a seagull running down the street here. But like, you like a headless chicken. Continue talking about this place. I mean, guys, this place looks really good actually. It has good weight. And the prices are decent, yeah. I have to say. They're, much, they're actually a bit cheaper than the actual supermarket. So, before getting back to the car, we oh. see the local produce. All the produce! Local? $12? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, in the store, these charge about $4 more than the actual <laughs> price on the side of the street. That's the only downfall. You gonna sell it? How are you? You're well? You alright? Interesting smell indeed. It's very nice. Herb salt. You bought some herb salt in yeah. the produce store. Yeah, happy about that. It's so funny. There's a bird, Mado, on the street. Oh, look at him. He's beautiful. Hello. Oh my god, he's coming to say hello. That's a... He's gonna point my finger, look. <laughs> There's a lot of really nice murals here in Riverton. It's just so small, but there's a lot of murals. Guys, okay, so I think we finish our little tour here in the center and we're heading maybe to a viewpoint or to the Gemstone Beach. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to the Gemstone Beach. It's been a while, so time to make it happen. So many people have recommended it. Look at all them boats. I don't know if you see it or if it's too bright. Everything is so colorful here. I don't know, even these houses. They're very colorful. Yeah, so yeah. we're just driving to this viewpoint. Yeah, it's, it's drivable, is it? I mean, it's not really drivable. Really it's like along the, it's along the water. Right. So. Look at all the flowers, man. It's all blossoms. Yeah, what a place there. to build a house. It is. It's such a beautiful place. Beautiful look. holiday place. Oh wow! Look at this. It's very really pretty. Beautiful out here. It is, it is. It's very peaceful, like, you know, it's a nice place to build a home and just chill out and take it easy sometimes, away from the hustle and bustle. Yeah. Here, the beautiful waterfront in Riverton is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's so bright. I can't keep my. It's back. a funny bit of a weather today, yeah. yeah. Overcast, but a bit of sunshine that oh. blinds you. I think that's Stewart Island over there. Stewart's Island, Stewart Island, yeah, in the cargo in the distance, I think. So, on Bluff, we'll be probably over this way. That would make sense. Look at what! There you go, Maro. Let's go for a stroll, she is. How beautiful is this? You go for a walk along the water with your dogs and yourself and your glens. Your glens? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, look at that gorgeous front. There's some horses here on the beach down, just down the way a bit. So many people, if you um, told us to go to Stuart Island and we yeah, would love to. Guys, it's very expensive. It costs actually one way per person, one hundred dollars. So that would cost us in total so. four hundred dollars just rest. to go back and forwards. Yeah, it's very expensive. Any fishermen want to bring us? No fishermen. Yeah, uh, I mean, and you also, if you want to do the trek, you know, with the hats on Third Island, it needs to be pre-booked and it's also sold. So yeah, it's a shame. We want to see some kiwis. So guys, we are now way to. Gemstone Beach and from Riverton it's a 20 minute drive. We haven't been on this on, on this road yet so I'm excited to see something near and hope for some uh, gemstones. Because yeah. we're talking for about this gemstone beach for a very long time and we haven't made it there yet so yeah people say like you really can find if you're lucky you can find some real gems. It's so it's so beautiful here and it really reminds me of Ireland. Coming 
out and it really looks like Ireland. I want to see this lookout. So it's just a small detour here to the Gemstone Beach. Oh, and it's so beautiful now. Oh, uh, welcome oh, to Ireland, the welcome, Irish side of New Zealand. Welcome to Ireland. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. You can actually walk there. Oh my god, I love the smell of the sea. I really miss that. Really strong, really strong smell. Really sea salty smell. Oh, it's so nice. We love a good gravel road, don't we? Well, that was the the beauty. Went to a house and stay at the water. <laughs> Jesus, imagine living here. That's so cool. It's a pretty special place to live, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at this. That is gorgeous. Okay, Madla. Okay, boss. It's just up there. Welcome to the cozy knock. Look at the caravan inside the house. I think it's a shipping, a shipping home. Ah, oh, look at that old boat. I think it needs a bit of work. It's probably sitting there a long time. And they have the tracks that go into the water. I think the old-fashioned way. But look at that. That is incredible looking. Incredible. I'm just gonna walk up here guys well imagine living here at this waterfront i feel like this is a holiday, holiday home for somebody oh the smell of salt is gorgeous guys i think we found paradise we have found paradise look at this this is wild this is the wild west of the sea wow did not expect this at all to be honest this is the wild south of the wild south of New Zealand, very special place indeed. Oh, that's so cool. So this place is called Cozy Nook and it's just like a few minutes away from Oripoki. Gemstone Beach. And 20 minutes from Riverton and 30 minutes from Invercargill, guys. Wow. And you probably came across here. If you're on your way to Queenstown on the coast, you make sure you stop here. It, it's so green here. Look at this. Because it rains here all the time. And this is the, guys, you see the mountains. Well, I call them mountains. But this is the fjords. This is the start of the fjords. Guys, welcome to Gemstone Beach. I'm afraid the tide is in. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe not very helpful in finding gems. What no, do you think? No, probably not. No, look at the amount of people looking already. That's so funny. Everybody's looking for gems. That is funny. Look at this. But it's a beautiful. Jeez, that really looks like Ireland. It's a beautiful beach, isn't it? Any jam is metal. Nice stones, though, I have to say. Find any nice stones? Was it? Did you find any nice stones? Yeah, a few. <laughs> nothing crazy yet. No, nothing crazy yet. Uh, that is beautiful. Look at that stone, the black one. The black one? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. This looks like a, a, a gas. Yeah. 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 I, no I haven't idea, even looked yet, like, my yeah. haven't even looked like, yet. Like, no. So this is definitely, like you can see, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, you just picked them up for two seconds, my dog. Yeah. Yeah. So you look oh, a bit longer. They're really cool. You need a bit of time to look. This, this is my favorite now. Oh wow. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. There actually is some gorgeous stones. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, oh. oh we need to get washed up. Guys, right, so this is honestly a beautiful beach. It is full of nice stones. It's just hard. You need to really give yourself time to investigate and find some beautiful precious stones. That's the fun part, you know? You want to just dig under. What, what is that? That looks like a lovely stone. It's beautiful as well. Also, there's gold as well on this on this beach along the the coast, up, up on the creeks where the the rivers kind of um, connect to the sea. So there is gold again. that can be found here as well. So quite an interesting place. You can have real through all the rocks, guys. Literally, it's a lot of fun though. It is. It makes things exciting, it makes your adventure exciting by implementing things like this. <laughs> Maddo, we found stones, let's see your selection. Uh, what are 
are we doing with all our stones and rocks? I and mean, they look. Are they jades? You don't have any jades. I don't know. Maybe I have one. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, we are back in the car. It's actually crazy how much of how much trust people have in society down on the South Island. Literally leaving all their bags on the bike and then walking down to the beach. You couldn't do that anywhere. You couldn't else. do that in many places in the world. So people obviously have trust down on the South Island that things won't get stolen. And it's amazing, it is. Even all the guys on the bikes over here. They leave all the bags in the back of the bikes. Probably they have the valuables on them, you know. Yeah, yeah, but still. Yeah, still. still. Uh, that was an interesting and fun experience, and we picked up too many stones actually. Oh, yes, it is. we did. It's just, it's a hard, it's patience, guys. It really is to find stones. Yeah, it is patience. You need some energy just to be looking. You need to really have a passion for it, I think. You know? Yeah. That's the fun part. Yeah. But there's also gold down here, in the, like I said, in the creek. Guys, we made it back to Riverton. We really yes. hope you enjoyed this yeah. small little, a little episode. random episode. <laughs> it's a bit spontaneous, but you know, sometimes we have to be spontaneous to have enjoy and have a good day. That's usually the story. So we actually found a few gemstones. I'm actually not sure if that's uh, shade or whatever. It's so hard to spot them, uh, isn't it's it? really hard to yeah. tell. But it was fun, and we really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're in the area, definitely check out Chemstone Beat to hunt down a few gems and, and become rich. Yeah. And we hope to see you in the next episode. If you like this episode, give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one.